Okay, so here I'm going to solve the previous uh, years, uh, the fall 2016, what we call the GCRA, General Chemistry Readiness Assessment. This is a set of problems that we've given to you. Uh, just to, we want to know where you're standing before we, you take this, uh, the Chem 1 class at RPI. So let's solve it on uh, the first problem. The first one is essentially you can see this arithmetic uh, calculation. And then this is from the chemical measurement. So this number has a number of significant figures issue. And they want, we want to you know that how to carry the calculation from this. So first operation is the division. And if you do this one first, and then you will get this number of 5.087. 006. So this is a number that your calculator will give it to you, but this one has a 5, 6 fig, and this one has a 4, 6 fig. So we only carry four significant figures. And then, then we're going to do the subtraction, which is a 4.75. And uh, as far as the addition and the subtraction is concerned, uh, the number of decimal places matters. So we only carry down to two decimal points. So that's where we end. Okay, so, so now by putting those numbers, uh, you will get, we'll get zero point. Okay, so this one goes away. Three, three, seven, and we're going to retain only up to two decimal points. But last one, we will decide round off, uh, round, round, round off. So by doing so, uh, the answer is zero point three four is the correct answer. Okay. Okay, so second problem is uh, similar. Essentially, they say we'll give you a number, but I want you to express in three significant figures in what is called a scientific notation. So this one, you want to one, two, three. You have to move the decimal places down to three decimal places. So therefore, 10 to the minus three, that's what you, you, you just did. And they just wanted to keep three significant figures, so that's what we are going to keep. So this number transform now, 6.92. And so therefore, answer is 6.92, 10 to the minus 3. So D is the answer. And you will notice that the answer is already highlighted in, in red, and this is what I got from the Dr. Ma. Uh, who gave this answer to me, so I'm just uh, going to use this one to uh, show the annotation. Okay, third one is what statement describes the chemical properties? So this is a chemical property of a chlorine, and chlorine is a symbol of Cl, chlorine molecule, so Cl2, and uh, uh, it exists as a gas typically in the standard state. Uh, chemical property is uh, related to essentially we call the reaction or uh, chemical transformation or change. So when chlorine reacts with something else, how does uh, change to some chemical transformation? How does it change to something else? Okay, so those are the chemical properties. But now if you look at here, chlorine, this is a boiling temperature, this is a color, this is a density, and this is also solubility in a certain solvent. So this is these are the all four property what we call the physical properties. Okay. And whereas the last one, which is uh, when you re look at the chlorine react with the sodium, so it's chlorine react with sodium to produce salt, which is NaCl. And then this is usually a gas, that's a solid, and this is a solid, and you just balance the number of atoms on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, just for the stoichiometry ratio, and then that completes a chemical reaction. And what, what it means is this is a chemical transformation of chlorine gas into salt, and that's what we call the chemical property. So E is the answer. So number four is, you have seen this here, the iron oxide is uh, reduced, uh, becomes an iron, whereas the carbon monoxide becomes carbon dioxide. So essentially iron oxide being reduced to iron, 
whereas a carbon dioxide becomes a carbon, a carbon monoxide becomes a carbon dioxide, which is an oxidation. So that's, this is a reduction, this is an oxidation, and this is a redox reaction. Uh, we, we will learn from uh, in, the, in the course of our class. Um, what is this question is asking you is, okay, this is a chemical reaction, and what kind of information can you find out from here? Uh, from here, the, we can see the balance of uh, how many moles of iron oxide and carbon monoxide will react to produce certain number of moles of products of ions and the CO2. So it is a stoichiometry ratio. And then re, uh, here, these are the number of moles of, of products by reacting this number of uh, moles of reactants here. So those are the, the what chemical information is about. The last one uh, of these uh, five problems that I'm going to solve it uh, with you, uh, case by case, uh, is this one, which is a samarium, and then with as a symbol. So samarium we are using in the symbol in the periodic table SM, and samarium means is actually 62. Okay, so this is a synonym because uh, the 62 is essentially what we call the atomic number. And if you look at the atomic number 62, this is same as uh, writing a symbol of SM, but atomic number is same as actually number of protons. Okay is a number of protons. And then now you're going to let me use a little different color. Okay, so you will see this in this notation, you will see the 144, and this this number is essentially what we call the atomic mass. Or um, uh, we we'll call the mass number. And that is same as number of neutron and number of proton together. Okay? So by doing so, uh, we can say number of neutron, which is, let me say, is an N, that will be a 144 minus 62, and there will be an 82. So there are 82 neutrons, and there are the 62 protons, and then proton and uh, neutron combined as 144. And so that's what we can find out from the notation. And then they're asking that what is an atomic number, mass number, number of neutrons, right? So atomic number 62, mass number 144, number of neutrons is an 82. So the A is a correct answer here. Okay, this one completes the five problem set. Yeah.